Hello guys, it's Sergeant Duban and welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna work on my Milendres or the Creep Myrtle. This is a white Creep Myrtle, also known as Milendres locally. I'm gonna work on this one. Do you know that the creep myrtle, locally known as Milendres, is an ornamental tree? It is an ornamental tree that produces beautiful flower clusters ranging in color red, pink, purple, and um, white. And what is good about this uh, creep myrtle? It is a plant that is tolerant to both heat and drought. That is why this plant is ideal or any kind of landscape. Also, this creep myrtle or milendres usually blooms during summer and continues throughout the fall. This is a white myrtle or white milendres and it grows up to 3 meters or less in height. The leaves of this um, milendres is entire stalkless, meaning say, the leaves grew directly from the stem. It is obovate, meaning to say the shape is like an egg smaller on the end part and grows 48 centimeter long. This Melendres is a handsome flowering summer tree or shrub. You can propagate myrtle plant or Melendres through cutting. A cutting of this plant about 6 to 8 inches long with uh, 3 to 4 nodes we're cutting. You plant the stem or the branch that you have cut. Remove all the leaves except for the last two or three on top. I've been keeping this villain dress for more than one month now. Okay? Take a look at this. Look at the beautiful contour in the trunk of this villain dress. Look how old and thick and hard and woody this trunk is of this villain dress. Okay? When I planted it, it has no branches, no leaves, just a bare stem, a bare cutting. And then after four weeks, here comes the branches and the leaves. What I'm gonna do is repot this one, okay? So, come and join me as I repot this beautiful Melendres. So I'm gonna put it here. In this container this will be the training path of this bonsai material okay this melendres for quite a long period of time said I've been keeping this for um, four weeks now okay it was just a cutting without roots here okay? without these uh, leaves coming from the stem and now as you can see baby roots are ramifying on this bottom okay I'm gonna repot this one I'm gonna place it here in this container So I will be training it here for quite a long time.
we clean the base. I'm using more organic mixture of soil in this plant so it would shoot a lot more branches, leaves and also ramify more roots okay, here at the bottom making it to bloom this coming summer season. Okay, so here is my repotted bonsai melon dress. Okay, look at the trunk. It's beautiful. What I'm gonna do is clean this portion of the trunk. I'm gonna remove these protruding scars on this trunk. So for now, 
I'm not gonna trim the crown of this plant. I'm gonna let it shoot more branches, okay, grow more branches, so I could have a good selection of branches before I wire it for the style that I want for this um, bonsai melendres. So for now, this is how it looks like. I'm gonna give you an update on this melendres material that I'm making a bonsai as soon as it develops more branches for branch selection and wiring of this material. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.